there are five important ways to scale a fitness business fast. This is gonna be useful for you if you already run an existing business and want a soundboard to make sure you're doing everything right, or it's also gonna be useful if you're starting out in a new niche or starting completely fresh. If you don't know who I am, my name is Phil Graham. I mentor thousands of health and fitness professionals every single year and help them reach six, seven, and even eight figures in their coaching business. Let's start with stage number one. Stage number one is getting clear on who you are. Looking at your backstory. Your backstory shapes a lot in your fitness business. It's actually where you've generated all of your attitudes around life, and most importantly, your expertise. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get clear on the five most chaotic events in your life. And then I want you to contrast them with the five best events in your life. Now, in order to get from worst to first, you've had to go through some serious mindset shifts and also attitude shifts. On top of that, you've also acquired some incredible skills. And it's essentially inside those transformations where your service lies. That essentially makes up the core of your offering and expertise because people are paying you to essentially give them the wisdom that you learn from doing something yourself. So the first thing is to get clear on what are the attitudes that allowed me to go from worst to first and what are the skills that I acquired during that period. I'm gonna use the attitudes and the skills to shape my offering and the very thing that I'm gonna give my customers. Number two is to get clear on the identity that you can create for those customers. Everybody is buying an identity. When coaches come to work with me, they don't wanna become a better coach. They don't wanna become a successful coach. They wanna become a successful entrepreneur. They wanna become a fitness entrepreneur. That is the identity that they want to buy into. Just like when you go into any religion and you identify as a Christian, a Muslim, if you join a gang, you identify as a gang member. If you're born in a country, you identify as somebody from that country. People love identities. So what is the future identity that you can create for people based off your expertise, your experience, and your wisdom? When you went from worst to first, you'll find that the identity is exactly what you're living right now, or what you lived at an earlier point of your life that you're now repurposing and helping people achieve. Number three is the mechanism. Figure out how you're going to help people do this. And this requires you to sit down and actually get clear on your customer journey. There are five components to your customer journey. A plan, training, essentially the curriculum that you're gonna educate people around, the support, the accountability, and the community of people that you bring together. Those are the five core deliverables. And what I like to say to every single one of my clients is get a piece of paper, write a line from left to right, zero, one year, two years, and break it up into quarters so you've got sections of eight. Here's what you need to do. Map out a journey of two years. What would it look like from somebody joining to somebody then getting to two years inside your program? When would you plan with them? When would you deliver training and education to them? And by the way, your training and education is gonna be grounded on a pyramid model. In the middle is your core result. Top left is one of the drivers towards those results. On the next, another driver. And then on the next, another driver. So think about building incredible confidence. Incredible confidence is gonna come from smart training, which is gonna allow you to build the physique and achieve the health goals. Intelligent nutrition, which is gonna drive energy and drive the training. And a powerful lifestyle. Those three things together are very simple examples of key drivers that would generate that result. And your training and education, essentially what I call your coaching curriculum, essentially is the main thing that drives that. And you can provide coaching every single week to your clients, whether it's a format of a group coaching call, whether you get a guest expert in, whether you get a client to come in and talk on their wins and share their principles and lessons and experience, or wherever you do a Q&A. 
The ongoing education is incredibly important when it comes to actually giving the clients the skill to be able to think themselves. Whenever a client comes to you, the best gift that you can give them is the skill to be able to make decisions themselves without needing to ask you all the time. That is where real coaching happens. The next thing is you need to map out the support. When are you going to give clients support? How are you gonna be able to give it? Are you gonna give them one-on-one -on -one calls? Are you gonna be able to give them group calls? Accountability, when are you gonna check in with a client? Is it once a month, twice a month? And community, when are you going to be able to create events, real life experiences for your clients to come together, get together, celebrate, learn together, and essentially rebuild their plans so that they can plan into the future and achieve way more. So map out that to your customer journey. And if you wanna take it an extra level, put in levels. So I'm gonna talk really simply here for a second. Think about going to karate school. Think about a white belt, think about a blue belt, think about the whole way up to the black belts. Those are examples of levels. You could do other things like medals, trophies, certain identities, shape it around your beliefs, your values, and your interests. In our community, we actually use swords. So whenever you hit a certain revenue level, you get a sword. That sword resembles your ability to fight, to conquer, and essentially move up and people love collecting these trophies because they're symbols of growth and progress. That's called gamification. People go mad for it on the likes of Call of Duty, right the whole way through to Fortnite. Everyone loves gamification. Gamify your coaching program. Those three things that I've just gone through shape your offer. You need to give it a name. I would name it around the identity that you're creating. Two, they need a high ticket flexible price point. So think about your upfront, think about your split pay, and think about your payment plan. I've created many other simple, easy to follow videos on how to create a flexible high ticket offer on this channel. Make sure you go and check them out if you don't know how. And then you've got to put it out to the world. And the fourth thing that I would encourage you to do once you've built that offer, put it out to the world and start selling, is to focus on building a six to 12 month war chest. Let me explain. When you come to growing your business, you will need money to invest in team, advertising, software, technology, and also to pay yourself to put bread on the table. If you are not getting the right amount of money, then you're going to struggle. You will have highs in business. You will have lows in business. And one of the worst experiences in the world is experiencing a low and not having any cash funds to get you by, where you essentially implode the business, suffocate, and go hungry. So one of our biggest fears in life is going broke and being humiliated. One of the best things that you can do as a psychological buffer and trampoline fund is allow yourself to build a war chest that will carry you through the rough seasons and downturns. Trust me, they will happen in business. How do you work out what you need for your war chest? Look at your personal expenses, multiply them by six. Look at your business expenses, including taxes, write them all down, multiply them by six. Then dedicate everything that you do to building six months reserve in your personal and six months reserve in your business and everything else above that is capital that you can invest. If you really like to play it safe, focus on building 12 months. But understand during that period and that climb when you are saving that cash, that is when you are building a psychological buffer to get you through the rough. And trust me, when you're sitting on six months of operational expenses, knowing that you could not take on another client, lose every client and still run for six months, you're gonna feel pretty safe. And when you feel safe, you take bigger risks. When you take bigger risks, bigger opportunities come. You can also say that bigger failure comes, but part of doing business is about taking risks all the time. And you tend not to take them when you're scared of going broke and failing all the time. So building a war chest is one of the best things that you can do for your confidence. And the last thing is to reuse what you make on top of that to hire and build a team so that you can get out of your own way and play to your strengths. Talking about building a team for an online personal training business sounds crazy, but I have clients that have got teams of five, 10, 20, 30 plus people that do anything from five figures the whole way up to eight figures. And here's what you need to realize. The team allow the founder to get their time back so that they can live their life and also play to their strengths. 
If you are not delegating and building a team to do the stuff that you don't want to do, the stuff that you're not skilled at, and the stuff that other people would value doing more than you, then you are massively holding yourself back. Because here's what this is all about. It's about taking that offer at the start, your expertise, your wisdom, your experience, and your attitude, how you deliver that, and the identity that you create for people, and essentially offering it to as many people as possible, and waiting for as many people as possible to say yes, so that you can take them on board, run them through that customer journey that you know that you've planned out for two years, serve them, and get them to stay, pay, and refer, so essentially you can continue to grow and impact at a very high level. The team allow you to do that. And the beautiful thing about building a team is that they will take the thinking out of all the areas of your business. So here's the way that I suggest that you use the additional funds in your business outside of your war chest to build your team. Start with hiring admin first. All the necessary stuff like reporting, bank accounts, accountancy work, all that kind of stuff, booking flights, get it delegated. In fact, you could probably afford to pay for that as you are building your war chest. Number two, is get somebody in to do your editing, your graphic design, your videography, and your scheduling. You should not be posting social media posts. That takes up so much time. You should not be editing your videos unless you truly love it. And third is to get somebody in to help you with client success, to deal with client questions, client onboarding, clients that want to cancel, and all the day-to-day -day operational stuff that goes on inside the running of your business. Get a good coach in there to be a second in command and help you serve those clients. And as you get to your first 50 clients, that's when you're gonna need your first coach. Whenever you get to 100 clients, you might find you need two or three coaches. But the ultimate goal is to get you managing the client success coach that manages the clients. The next level up is to get your chats delegated. Inside your DMs, on social media, inside your emails is essentially where the greatest conversations are going to happen. All sales begin with a conversation and you want to be starting at least 10 conversations a day if you have any hope of building a six slash seven figure business to identify what people's pain points are, how you can help them and where to direct them if they want to know more information and essentially consider joining. That means a sales call. So getting those chats delegated removes you from having to reply to everyone. And then the ultimate boss move is getting somebody in to handle those sales calls. People that connect with a coach or connect with somebody that understands your program to essentially talk to them about their problems, tell them how you can help them, and three, what they need to do to sign up and hopefully close those deals. So just imagine no more admin, no more posting marketing, no more graphic design, no more video editing, no more coaching, day-to-day -day client problems telling people what to eat, no more doing your chats and trying to start conversations, and no more sales calls. What would you be doing? You'd be managing that team. This isn't about getting you into a position where you do nothing. That can certainly be achieved. It's more about getting you into a position where you manage the team that then build the business. And that is how you make the greatest level of impact. Because here's the thing, if you're doing the admin, the marketing, the sales, the customer client success, you are going to be spread thin. And the thought of adding more clients into your business is only going to cause you pain. You cannot grow into pain. The way that you remove the pain is by getting the right people in to do the stuff that you can't do, shouldn't be doing, or don't want to do so that you can focus on building the team that build the business. Those are five very simple steps. They work. I'd love to know in the comments what you're doing, what you're not doing. Let me know if this was useful. Oh, and if you've taken value from this video, click like and subscribe. Every single week, I upload a brand new YouTube video on how you can grow and scale your fitness business, whether it's an online fitness business, a gym, or a personal training business. I will teach you how to make more profit, more impact, and most importantly, have more freedom so that you can live life in your terms. So, in conclusion, get clear on your offer who you are, the identity that you're creating for people, and the mechanism that you're going to use to deliver it. Build your war chest and use the additional funds in your business to build your team so that you can impact more people, market at scale and get in front of more eyeballs, and sell more coaching programs, change more lives.